24 hours uh, before the double championship fight, first time in 24 years, two undefeated Americans, two world champions are fighting for the title. Um, I see you carrying the Los Angeles Lakers fan. That's right, baby, the best team in the world. The best team Hands in the world. Hands down. <laughs> Hands down, the best. So, do you, ex do you expect Kobe to actually be here tomorrow? No, uh, I don't think Kobe will be here tomorrow. <laughs> I mean, that would be But there will be, nice. be nothing wrong with it. There will be nothing wrong with it, man. Um, there are one great... Uh, Athlete, you and another about another great athlete. Uh, you fighting versus uh, unexperienced but very fast uh, guy in in Devon Alexander. Some people are saying that the speed will nullify your experience. How do you see it? Uh, watching whatever he he was able to to, to present. Uh, his speed. I got speed as well. I got speed and power as well. My footwork is a lot. I'm a lot faster than he is. You know. They'll see once I get in the ring with them that uh, it's going to be harder than they thought it, it was going to be to hit me and uh, also to deal with my speed. It's going to be tough. I got just as much speed as him or I might be faster. So we'll just yeah, have to we, see. Yeah, we, 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 we're going to know in 24 hours. You're I mean, know. Absolutely. Uh, and, and exactly what you're saying is, I mean, I remember Mike Tyson saying long, long time ago, everybody has a great plan until he gets hit. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, so this is what you what you're counting on. Yes, I'm sir. sure. Yes, sir. Absolutely. They were, they get hit. There was sometimes ago, a couple of weeks ago, there was a rumor. I don't know how you call it. That you you are unable, you are not able to prepare 100 percent because you are sick. Could you say something about it? Well, I, I caught a little flu uh, two weeks ago. Um, you know, I was feeling a little ill, but uh, you know. It, it, there's nothing. There's nothing wrong with me now. As you see, I'm fine. Yeah. I'm healthy. You look great. And, I mean, uh, everybody. You know, everybody knows after you get done. After you get done with a flu or sickness, you become stronger because you're rested. So it was like a controlled flu. <laughs> hey, you know what? It, it, it happened. It, you know, it did about about a week. It was a week. I was about a week sick. You know, uh, two weeks ago, but. And now it's it's no longer in me. You know, the flu is aside, the no bug, no virus is in me anymore. I'm 110 percent. Um, no excuses in this fight whatsoever. Um, I'm ready to go. I'm ready. To, I'm ready to shock the world. Uh, I'm not sure you're gonna shock the world. Actually, I think so. The, the people are kind of expecting you to win. Uh, you are a favorite when you when you check the booking sites. Not that I'm doing like anything like it, but yeah. let's say you are you are the favorite right now. Do you have a problem with being a favorite? You never get cocky, don't no, you? No, no, not no. in boxing. No, no. You know, by in boxing, one punch is the fight, man. That's all it takes. That's the beauty about, about, about boxing. But uh, I am the favorite because um, they know I come prepared 110%. They know they I faced adversity. I've been knocked down. I've got up and finished fights. Um, they haven't seen that from Devin Alexander yet, so they just waiting. And everybody's just waiting to see what you know if this guy gets in a tough situation, how he's going to react. So he can either react like a champion, like he's yeah. supposed to, and fight back, or you know, or he just might fold up. So like a, like I said once again, man. I'm 110%. There'll be no excuses in this fight whatsoever. So. I, I hate to ask the question, and I know you probably will not like me for asking it, but, you know, I cannot stop myself from asking you the question. I mean, looking how good you look physically and watching you fights and knowing, uh, you know, you are 140, there is any chance we can see you versus the guy like Pacquiao. You should fight a guy like a Pacquiao, don't you think? Would you like to? I mean, that's that's the goal. The goal, my ultimate goal is to fight the pound for pound best fighter in the world. But am I, I'm not worried about Pac-Man right now. Yeah. You know, I got a, a fierce opponent in front of me, Devin Alexander, you know, who's going to be a handful. I ain't worried about Pac-Man right now. But uh, absolutely, you know, I would love to fight Pac-Man. Everybody knows it already. I've already called him out, you know. But yeah. like I said, I'm not thinking about Pac-Man right now, dude. I got to get past Devin Alexander first before I even think about that. Yeah, 24 hours from now, absolutely, you will be in the ring with, uh, like we said in the beginning, undefeated world champion. So there is a there is a yes, there is a big hurdle in front, and uh, hard to talk about something which will happen or not happen if you know you're gonna fight the really really tough guy. Right. Thank you very much, and let let the best best man win. Hey, thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate right. it. God bless.